In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best passing concepts out of the U-Trips offense in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden player they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. Now the play that we're going to be going over in this video is my second favorite play out of the U-Trips offensive scheme, which is the Y-Option Wheel. U-Trips is an offense that's been made famous by the pro player for the TNC crew, D-Croft. He's one of my favorite players to study film on, and he's one of the best offensive minds every single year. So the play Y-Option Wheel is what we're going to start this out with, or this tip out with, and we're going to first show this um, specifically against kind of the Mike Blitz 3 meta Mabel coverage um, that I think you're still going to see a lot in Madden 22. And really simple, all we're gonna do as far as our setup, really, really, really simple. Uh, what I like to do is actually like to take the X receiver, which is the tight end, and put him on an in route. And then I'm gonna take the R1 receiver, um, and I'm gonna put him on a smart routed out route. As you can see right here, this is what it's gonna look like. And again, just bear with me, but that is an out route on that left side. And what you're gonna see here is we're actually gonna let him set. It's one of the few times in this play that we're gonna let this out route set on the short side. What you're gonna see is that out route um, is gonna pull every zone out of the way. And as you can see right there, I can easily hit my running back against the Mabel coverage. Now this is a lot of quick reads really, really quickly. And um, you, you really wanna be kind of careful a little bit with this read, but I will tell you that your out route is a route that you um, at least wanna look at. You may not always hit it, um, this tight end route, if you want to, honestly, just put him on a out route. It may be a little easier for the spacing, but essentially you get these quick reads. You get this quick out to the right, and then if they cover that out route, you're going to see here that your running back up the seam is going to be a nice user catch option. Obviously, I could have thrown it a little bit before that, but you'll see that that's going to be a good user catch option. Now, the next thing that I want to go over just real quick is um, if they were to do something like this defense, and that's going to basically leave this out route open. So essentially, they're just not going to play cloud flats. If they don't play cloud flats in this year's game, you're going to have a lot of success with these out routes. They really require, I think, a cloud flat zone. See how it gets kind of in that back pocket of the defense. I think that's a really good little read. Um, it just forces the defense to have to defend all aspects of the field. So now they have to have a Mabel coverage on the right side, but that Mabel coverage is not going to take away the out route. So they're going to have to go to get that get that running back route with their user um, so that's going to put a yellow zone over there and then now they're basically just going to run essentially um, essentially they're going to run out of players and you can motion the circle receiver over on that as well if you wanted to to use a slot streak slot streaks are really good this year but I just want you to show you what's going to happen with this post this post is really really good route this year as you see it gets over top of all the zones and you can see it gets in a really unique uh, part of that coverage let me show you that post route now against man-to-man -man coverage. This is one of my favorite little features um, out of the U-Trips is really what it can do to zone, but also what it can do to man, just with the most simple and basic concepts that you've ever seen. So you're gonna get that out route over cross, and you're gonna see here, one thing you can do is you can smart route that post. It's just gonna make him go a little bit deeper, but he's gonna cut to the inside, and as you can see right there, he's gonna be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage for an easy gain of about 15 to 25 yards. Now the next defense that I wanted to go over in this video is Tampa 2, and the only reason I wanted to go over this is I just wanted to share this with you. This is a great play to share this on. Um, you're going to see that circle is on a fade route, okay, as you can see right there. Those stock fades are really good for beating cover 2, so if you've got someone that runs a lot of cover 2, this is kind of the perfect play for them. Um, as you're going to see here, all you're going to do is just pass lead that fade to the outside, and he's going to beat cover 2 for a one play score every single time. Uh, in Madden 22. It's literally the most glitchy thing in the game right now. Cover 2 basically is not working properly and even if it was, that fade route would still be open. Um, it's been open for years out of this formation. Now the next read that we're going to show you or the next uh, coverage that we're going to show you is actually man to man and I want to show you specifically the running back wheel. Um, this year the running back wheel route is actually really good against man. All you're going to do is just cut it off just like that and as you can see we're going to be able to dot man to man every single time with that wheel route. It's one of my favorite things. It's something that used to be in Madden that they kind of took out, and now it's good to see that it's back. So if they're running man coverage on you, um, you're gonna see here that this wheel route just cuts inside and pretty much beats man every single time. You don't even have to click on. You're gonna make that user or that catch every single time. 
So all in all, this U-Trips offense is really good at beating cover three, it's really good at beating cover two, and now I want to turn your attention to the cover four defense. I think that the cover four defense is one of the best ways that most players are going to be using this, and I just want to show you kind of what happens um, with this running back route. What you're going to see is this is an absolute cover four quarters bomb. The running back route gets wide open against cover four quarters for a one play touchdown every single time, literally every single time. I'm going to show you that one more time just so that you can see that that is not a fluke whatsoever. Again, all we're doing is we're just motioning over that R1 receiver. It doesn't have to be on a 10 yard out route. If you want it to be on a five yard out route, that will work just fine. But really just that route combination right there and you're gonna see just torch the quarters coverage for a one play score literally every time. Um, quarters teams no chance against this offense, at least the way that I run it. And as you can see right there, we're gonna be beating quarters over the top for a one play score. Now real quick, I just wanted to kind of hit on this while we're here. Um, let's just say for example that, you know, let's just imagine uh, if we will that the user decides that he's gonna go user the running back route. If that is the case, you're gonna see here, your post route is gonna be able to get right in that tight little window against quarters. Real simple, real smooth, and honestly, really, really effective. So this play in honest, in all honesty this year, I think the U-Trips really has a chance to be one of the best offenses in the game because of the spacing that it provides and also just because of the routes that you have at your disposal. This year, it's not as hard, in my personal opinion, uh, to play offense. And so the U-Trips, because of the spacing that it has and the simplicity of the reads, allows you a lot of freedom on the offensive side of the ball. So that's it for the video, guys. I wanna thank you for watching today's video. And again, if you've not already subscribed, be sure to do that. And if you've subscribed and you wanna get my free offenses and defenses that I send out every single week to our text message members, all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Again, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys later on stream.